teams. Oh my god! Oh. What's up everybody? It's Chuflaka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. If you guys cannot tell, I have no beard right now. Yesterday on stream, somebody hit 250k channel points, which I always thought was unreachable. And now we have no beard. Hopefully it grows back soon. That's why I have the hood on. A little uncomfortable without the beard, you know. I haven't had no beard in like five years, but we still got to get this video out. 15 AP on a D-line, and I'm not a big D-line user, never have been. So hopefully I'm not too rusty out there, but hey, hopefully we can make some plays. We're going to be using it on Montez Sweat today. But if you guys are new here and do not know, we do post a video every single day of the week. And also... Also, boys, please like the video. It helps out so much. One like can really go so far. I appreciate it. It is free. But anyways, boys, let's get right into the card and show you the abilities. So we will be using Montez Sweat today, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail. We do have all these abilities on him, equaling 15 AP, so he's the only guy with abilities on our defense. We were using the X-Factor, Unsubble Force. We got Strip Specialist on him, Double or Nothing on him. El Toro, 3 AP, Edge Shot Elite, 4 AP, and also Under Pressure. This one might help us get a throw out of sack, maybe a Under the Pressure throw turning into an interception. You never know. We'll be looking at that throughout the gameplay. Let's head right into a game, and let's see a at least two sacks this video, minimum. We will be kicking the ball off first. We're actually playing against the Derek Carr Golden Ticket. I have never played against this card at all, literally at all. We're going to be using these ugly Bronco jerseys. Usually when I'm playing in streams, I used to I like to throw in the ugly shirts. I always think those games are the most fun. But let's get right into Montez Sweat. Like I said, I'm not a big D-line user. Hopefully, we could pull something along the way and get some sacks. So it looks like he's going to be starting off in a running formation. This is actually not a good look for us at all. He's going to run it our way, but it looks like we're not going to make any plays. But our defense is going to completely slobber up Saquon there. He has Saquon and... And uh, Derek Carback, kind of a weird team. You never really see. Looks like he's going to running formation again. Maybe he runs, maybe he doesn't. Let's see if we can make a play in the passing game. Looks like he is going to run the ball again. That's where it's a little hard when it comes to being a D lineman against the run. But he has ran the ball twice for a total of zero yards. Still third and ten. Let's see if we can get a stop on the big third down. So he's in a big pass or run heavy formation again. So many tight ends on the field. Looks like we're going to spin out of that. I don't even know what I'm doing that first possession. Probably a good thing he got that because he did run the opposite way of me. Don't know why. Uh, hopefully he's not going to do that the whole game. But I, this might be a little tough having to play against a lot of tight ends out here. If he double teams me, that'll be definitely tough. We're going to bull rush and we're going to completely fall over. I am doing something wrong. I am definitely doing something wrong. We will 100% get this right. No, he has literally ran the ball every single play besides one, even that, like, right there. We're going to bull rush. We're going to get stuck again. It is not looking good, but we're going to make a play, click off with Derwin, and get an easy, easy sack right there. So, I don't know why, but maybe maybe we give him some plays by himself and see if that works at all. But it looks like we're just going to get com – I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, it, you'd think it would be like the like, – obviously, it's the easiest position on the field. I haven't done it once this year. That's why I'm a little struggling. There's those people that are mains at it, and they'll insta -sack, sack you every single time. Those are the worst to play against. All right, boys, fourth and three. Looks like we're going to get completely pancaked again. I don't even know what to do to stop that. And this guy is going to – I don't know what he, who he thinks Derek Carr is, but we're just going to literally dance into the end. I don't I mean, he thinks Derek Carr is, like, literally RG3 right now or something. He has ran the ball with him, not even looking at the play twice now. I mean, look what it's resulted in. I know Montez Sweat is not having himself a game right now, but the defense is going crazy. T, when you are having your full pass rush moves, looks like we're completely... Well, we got double team there. That kind of sucks. But hopefully we can get... I, 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 it's kind of like a... It's like a learning process during this video as well. Madden player, you should never lose to somebody who is user rushing, though, honestly. I mean, you you do have some unlucky times. So it looks like we're going to get bull rush right there. We're going to make some plays. We're going to get a big prize. Oh, my God. That is that. I can't, what is that ability called? What is that ability called? Please don't quit yet. Please Let me pause. Let me pause. What is that ability called that we just activated right there? I don't even remember what it was called. It was under pressure. Why, the throw was so awful. You guys saw it activate. We didn't even tackle him. Under pressure forces a throw that was awful and gets us a pick and another stop on defense. There he goes. Let's head into a second game and let's make some more plays. Boys, so we did get a pretty big 
I mean, it was just a great offensive drive on him. It looks like he's going to come out in a huge run formation here, though. This could be very bad. And it looks like he has an edge right over here. This could be another bad situation for us. And Saquon is going to break two tackles to get... A, I mean, that was a that was a loss right there, and Saquon just fought. Not bad at all. But like I said, I don't know much about rushing, so it should be a little better. Let's see. It looks like we're going to get double teamed. We're going to get literally double teamed, and Saquon's going to block us all the way out, and he's going to chuck this one down the sideline to a questionable read. I accidentally click off, and he's going to throw it over here and make a play of no yards. Boys, we need to make something here. If I keep getting double teamed, it'll definitely be very difficult. It looks like that's what it is. Yeah, it's... Oh, my God. We're going to get right through. Please. Oh, my... We're going to force another... Okay. That's that same ability. Under pressure is a very, very good ability. If you are a D-line user and you're not using under pressure, you are, you are doing something wrong. We have seen two interceptions forced. That doesn't normally happen. I mean, he isn't using the best quarterback. That doesn't normally happen. Under pressure, boys, get it right now if you are a D-line user. Boys, so I'm not going to lie. I went to go pass, or I don't even know how to explain it. I went to go to the bathroom. I paused the game, came back, and he hit me with a 70-yard bomb. But we did score again. Looks like we're going to get completely bagged right now, and he's going to make a scramble. Is he? Oh, he got lucky. I don't know why Clowney, Clowney is, I'm pretty sure Clowney is faster than his guy. That Clowney's on a full brown team team. So he has like a 97 speed, I think it is. But he's going to run right there, and we're going to, I mean, he's probably going to run now. We're going to get in the... I think we're... Oh, man. Yeah, he's going to tote. He's towing. He's towed in here. We got to make some plays, boys. This got to be huge. Looks like he's going to run right there. And yeah, yeah. I mean... I mean, 99 players, just they're just not good. I mean... I mean, we just got pushed back five yards. Boys, bad news. We did get uh, throttle sacked. But, hey, we can get past that. We can definitely get past that. Please don't run the ball, though. Why are we running in May? Please don't be running the ball in May. We're playing Madden in May. Don't do it. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to rip, though. It looks like we're going to get actually good pass pro right there. But, I mean, there's just three people. That's almost impossible. He's coming out in very, very run-heavy formations. Very tough to play against. Yeah, I mean, it's just not fun to play against either. But, hey, this, like, hey, this is how you win games. This is how you win games. I mean, the whole game, we're going to be fighting against double teams. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We finally did it, boys. I don't know how I did it, but we did it. I don't even know what I pressed, and he's going to hurry up right out of it. Let's do the same thing if we can. Oh, my God. I didn't even. Oh, my God. I figured it out. I fi Oh, we get double teamed. We're still running, and we're going to make him for a bad dude. I figured it out, boys. Bar is finally going down, so I know that's a good thing. So we are in third and 18. He's going to have to pass the ball for more than that normal dump down he normally typically does. But it looks like we're going to actually get stopped right here, and we're going to get pancaked the next play. Can we force a bad throw with under pressure? No, we're actually going to hit the quarterback. So I'm going to head into goal line. Really do not trust our anything right now. I don't know where Montez is. He's right here, but yeah, he's going to make a big play right there. User hit stick, but he's going to fall right in. We're, all right, we're going to score on offense. This is just, I, I don't know why we're making it so close. But next play right here, probably going to tow. I'm actually going to use her Taylor Mays just for this one play because I know he's going to tow. Yeah, I mean, I, he's going to. I mean, running the ball is just so hard to stop in next-gen because if you make one bad cut, it's just it's just so easy to do it. Boys, we are back on defense. We scored fairly, fairly fast right now, but it looks like I'm starting to, like, kind of get it as we're going to get right through again, but we're going to trip over the guard as well. Not a good play at all. I mean, we're, I mean, we're definitely starting to rip now. It really comes down to that right there was either there was a running back in the backfield and also we got tripped by the player that wasn't even supposed to block us. Second in five. I'm actually going to start QB spying here so we can get maybe a different type of play. He's going to run right at us and he's going to make a definitely good run right there for a couple of yards. Definitely going to go back to the run. I mean, this guy you could tell is a very big run heavy player. I think it's his seventh run already. Not too sure, but let's see. But it looks like we're going to get completely get bagged right there. And he's going to throw the worst read you could possibly make in Madden. And my 99, 90, my 99 uh, safety, 99 zone safety is going to watch him catch it. Looks like he's going to send everybody, making this a wide. This could be definitely a huge play. Let's see. I do want to bull rush because it seems like bull rushing is the one that's kind of working the most. We're going to spin move right there. Make We're going to definitely get behind. Let's see. He's going to throw that. I don't know if that helped that we were right there, but we spun move right there, getting a great, great animation. As we get pancaked, and it's going to be a pretty good screen. It's... That animation is broken because you cannot get out of it. Right at us again. And he's going to make a great, great read right there with the run. Ten rushes in the first half. 
down astronomically right now. He is having his a great time running the ball. We're going to get pancaked again and don't know what my hooks are doing. I, I, I don't even... This is why you should never D-line user. You're so limited. There's just no reason to do it. I'm really just doing it for an... Air, I mean, experimental right now. But, yeah, it's kind of awful. It is kind of awful right now. But it looks like Taylor Mays is going to make a play. We're actually going to call a timeout here. I'm going to switch formations over because he is obviously a heavy runner. We're going to switch formations over to a kind of like more people on the line look. And we're going to pull him down. Where are the D-tackle now? Not as good, right? But... Carl Banks is in the game. That is a legend right there on defense. Could be a big play. Looks like he's going to set a screen, but I don't know if I'll be able to get there. No way is he get out of that. I mean, like, ne I, if, if Next Gen doesn't show you that speed, like, does that matter? I mean, right there is 100% the way to, like, do not play Next Gen, boys. But we all know that he is a genuine toter. So let's see. Is he going to tote the ball again? Looks like we're going to get completely bagged right there. But Clowney, Clowney is going to make a huge throw out of sack happen. Our other side of the line right there. Throwing it to our golden ticket, Mike Evans. Pretty much sealing the game. And there he goes, boys. We score a quick touchdown right there to make him quickly quit. Boys, I don't know if it was the stash that brought out that great gameplay for Montez. We did have a lot of bad plays. Like I said, I am not a D-line user. Kind of a fun video to show you. I know a lot of people are out there. Make sure to let me know. If I were to do a video like this again with a new D-lineman that comes out, if they do come out with any new cards recently or maybe an Ultimate Legend, let me know who should I do it with or what abilities I should throw on them and what am I doing wrong on the D-line. Maybe, maybe some tips on that. But anyways, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, like I said, please don't make fun of the beard, the no beard in the comments, man. I'm already, I'm already, you know, I'm just not feeling myself right now. That's why I got the hood on and everything. But I appreciate you guys, boys. Make sure to drop that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.